Hi, Miss Bianca. Welcome back to my channel if you are new here. So today I just wanted to play with the Huda Beauty Neon Palette. I have the orange palette and I just kind of came up with this look. I had an idea of what I wanted to do and just kind of went with it. So it's a little dramatic and um, kind of fun. And if you are interested in how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so jumping right into this look, I'm just placing some concealer all over my lid to prime them, and then I'll be setting with some translucent powder. And then I'm going to dip into this MAC pigment, it's in the shade Copper, and I'll be placing that all over on the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going to start smudging some black eyeshadow along with putting some um, NYX Cosmetics liquid liner, smudging that out with a um, liner brush and then a purple shade from an Urban Decay palette. I believe it's um, sold out. It's kind of like an older palette but it's just this vibrant, vibrant purple shade. And then I'm actually jumping into the Huda Beauty Neon Palette and I'll be taking the bright orange and start buffing that all over in my crease. Once I build up that neon orange shade, I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and start building up that wing and adding that purple back in and just really intensifying that wing. And then moving on to the face, before we finish the eyes, I'm taking the e.l.f. Cosmetics Putty Primer, placing that all over my face and rubbing it in. And then I'm also going to take the CC Cream. This is from Smashbox. It's called the Camera Ready CC Cream, along with some highlighting liquid and the Bare Minerals Gel Foundation. And then I'll just be going and blending that in with a Morphe sponge. And for concealer, I'm using the 16 hour camo concealer by e.l.f. Cosmetics and I will be setting my entire face with the Ben Nye powder in Pretty in Pink. For bronzer and contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using the darkest shade in the palette. I'll be chiseling out my chin, my cheekbones, and my forehead. Okay, so after I contour my nose using that same shade and light palette, I do like to carve everything out with some translucent powder. I'm just using the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder. Next, I'm popping on some lashes, and these are the Kiss Lashes in the style Boudoir. And I'm placing those closest to the lash line. And then I put on some NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner on top to hide the lash band. Okay, so then I'm just wiping off that excess powder and then I'm going back into the neon palette and I'll be buffing that along the lower lash line. At first I thought I wanted to put a green color down and then I changed my mind. I'm also intensifying that copper inner corner. And for highlight, I'm using this highlight from Dose of Colors. It's a pearlescent kind. If I can find the name, I'll go ahead and list it in the down bar below and just pacing that on my um, highest points of my cheeks. And then for blush, I actually took a color from the Neon palette, um, mixed the orange and the pink. And then moving on to lips, I'm lining my lips with the 
MAC lip liner in the shade Spice and then filling them in with the Maybelline lipstick in Baddest Beige. And finally, just putting on some mascara. This is the Essence Princess Lash Mascara. And that is it. Okay, so this is the final result. I love how it came out. It's super dramatic and definitely a look I would wear on a night out with girlfriends or something. And um, anyways, yeah, if you enjoyed this look, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.